I'm delighted to be here this morning to give you an overview of Belfast City Airport's commitment to our local community. And it's quite interesting having heard from John and Lisa and Jane and Angela, there's some real key themes and I think the word collaboration is coming out quite strongly as well. So what I'd like to do is just take you through um, our approach, our, our strategic approach really, um, and bring one or two of those to life. So if we move on, I don't think um, in terms of uh, an introduction about Belfast City Airport, um, like most people would know where we are. Um, we've been established since 1983. And really, I suppose um, we are very much in the heart of our local community. And, you know, we're five minutes from the city centre, from the business community, um, and in terms of access to global destinations, we would be a hub for the likes of Amsterdam, Birmingham, London and Manchester. It has certainly been a very challenging time for, for many of us throughout the pandemic and certainly the aviation industry in particular um, has been challenging. Um, and, but it has certainly brought us out the other end of it being very resilient. So if, if we move on to just look at the four pillars of our corporate responsibility journey, and I must say, I remember at the airport many, many years ago, starting out on this journey and business in the community being very much part of guiding us through that process um, and moving us to a position that we are today where we have as Lisa touched on earlier, moved from doing ad hoc projects to having a very strategic focus. So within the four pillars, um, environments, we've heard a lot of uh, discussion around that, and I'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, our key focus will continue to be around education and our young people, really about inspiring the next generation of people through the programmes and we deliberately have a programme that starts from preschool interventions right up to graduate and everything in between. But at the heart of all of this, it's driven by our people, but as a community, it's important to us that we continue to move forward and engage with our key stakeholders. So we take a very much a structured approach to it. If we move on to look at our CR journey, um, our stakeholder engagement, so that is absolutely key in terms of regularly engaging with the local community and our local residents. And we do that through a number of different forums and engagements. Um, our community fund um, has been established um, since 2009. Um, we've invested almost half a million pounds into local projects and groups within the Greater Belfast and North Down area. And this gives us the, the flexibility and the autonomy to support a wide range of initiatives. So it could be anything from sports to community centres, educational programmes, and it just really brings a number of projects and opportunities to life that perhaps otherwise would not have that funding. So how does it work? It works because we have um, a scheduled uh, operating hours uh, for our airlines where they fall outside those scheduled opening hours, sorry, operating hours then the, we impose a fine if they're outside of that, but still within a curfew. So it's a very small number. But what we do is put that money into a pot and then the airport adds to that. And that becomes our funds to support all of the initiatives. Uh, in terms of the key strategic CR projects, we always welcome the opportunity to get involved and support matters within the local community. So we will link up with organisations in terms of whatever theme that we're focused on. So our best kept awards was very much focused on our environmental. Um, but with us, there is great focus on those charitable partnerships. So we're lucky to have a very engaged and supportive employees and business partners. And you can see just there on the screen that just one of those initiatives in terms of having a sleep out um, for one night at the Belfast City Airport, we were able to raise over £15,000 um, for with the Welcome Organisation, um, who do great work with to deal with homeless. I'll speak some in some more detail about the Ignite programme shortly, as it's a project that I'm immensely proud of. 
our High Flyers apprenticeship program. And again, we, we've had some discussion um, around skills and young people and developing those skills. So again, this was an apprenticeship program, an initiative that we started at the airport right across the business. And you can see there in the screen, we have a couple of our apprentice firefighters who are now fully fledged um, firefighters at the airport who have come through that, that program. So I could talk lots um, more about that, but um, we, we don't have the time to do that. But you'll, you'll see there that, that final um, circle on the screen there being about collaboration. And a collaboration is key. Um, we have always operated an open door policy with our staff and our community through various forms and open days. And the needs of those within the local community are always changing. So we do place great emphasis on having that regular engagement, evaluating our impact. And also this assists us in, in terms of determining our, our strategy moving forward. So I'm going to move on to look at what the strategic focus is. So we've got a number of key themes which very much fit into the heart of our business strategy. So our, our community engagement CR activity is at the heart of the business. It's driven by the executive team. It's fully supported by the board and our shareholder, but it's very much owned by our people. So in terms of strategic focus, we have our Ignite Youth Leadership Programme. We have our community funds, which, as I said, gives us the flexibility and the autonomy um, to continue meaningful community engagement. And it also allows us to be agile to adaptive support projects that are, that are worthy of that support. And again, we've heard that key theme around sustainability. So that's key to our overall business proposition. And we, as one of our five corporate um, objectives across the whole organisation, um, sustainability is, is there. So we want to be an industry leader for sustainable travel and operations. And we're working closely with our business partners and other airports across Europe on this very current and important agenda. But for me, two of the key enablers and to, to, to the deliverables of, of these strategic projects is to continue with that relevant engagement with all of our state, key stakeholders and also having that strategic ownership that is clear, transparent and measured across our organisation. So each person, whether they be a business partner on site to um, our own directly employed employees, all have a role to play in that process. So looking at some of that impact, moving on to the next slide, we can look at just one small project that we supported through our community fund and that um, was Bangor Food Bank. And so a donation from the fund helped to assist the purchase of a fan there. And one reason why I think personally that our community fund works so well is, is the committee and the group of people that are behind it. So it's made up of our own direct employees and business partners from various areas and backgrounds. And their passion really drives this and in turn ensures that some really impactful projects are selected. So we do everything we can to support many projects um, and certainly in 2021 our charity of the year was uh, the Welcome Organisation and we were able to raise over £30,000 um, just during that, that partnership. So again what is important for us and, and where we've moved in our, in our journey or CR is what is the impact, how do we measure that impact, how can we improve and how can we learn from, from what we're doing. And just moving on to the next slide in terms of impact, you know, our people are, are key to this journey. Um, and if we want to just look at the face of well, what impact does that engagement level have and the activity that we do in the local community, some of the, the, the uh, survey results from our last employee survey. So we're extremely lucky, but also we work very hard at engaging directly with our workforce. Um, and if you look at some of those figures there, you can see that 100% of our staff um, believed that the airport contributes to our local community in a positive way. And also, you know, that the, the senior team is committed to working with our local, our local community. So again, in terms of measurable impact, we can continue to work with that and, and manage that. 
So I, I touched as well um, on the Ignite Leadership Program. Um, so with Ignite, our aspiration um, was to change the lives of uh, 100 young people. Um, let you into a little secret. I would love that hundreds to be a thousand and more. And I believe that is possible through collaboration, particularly with some of, of the, the great organisations that, that are on this call and that I work with. So our leadership programme really uh, sets out at equipping the young people with the leadership skills and um, the ambition and the confidence and the motivation to take on the world, to believe in themselves, to give back to their society, their school, their family and the community. And I know Angela touched there on, on looking at some of those softer skills, which are very, very important as well. So um, we launched the programme back in 2019. And really the programme, the, the success of it has been mind blowing. We have seen um, 20 young people over the last couple of years graduate. I have been blown away by the commitment for our 16 to 18 year olds to be getting up and uh, being present at 9.30 on a Saturday morning each month and being fully committed and brought into the programme. So in terms of, of the impact, again, just seeing the growth of those individuals throughout the programme. But on the, on the screen there, you can see that at the end of it, what will they come away with? It's not just about developing their confidence and their skills. They will have a qualification. So they'll have a, a, an internationally recognised diploma in personal career development, um, a bespoke internship. So whether someone wants to be a barista, an air hostess, a lawyer, a doctor, that I will work through my contacts within um, the business community to say, how can we get the best placement um, and internship that is going to really shine out on that young person's CV? Unfortunately, the pandemic has stopped us from bringing the young people out to a fairly life-changing um, trip to the US where we'd work with other young people. So you can see in this picture that um, the senior vice president of HBO, the man that brought Game of Thrones to Northern Ireland, who kindly came over and launched that. And that uh, programme really is done in partnership with uh, Cinemagic, which is a charity close to my heart that I chair, um, but that we've worked with over a number of years at the airport. And, and their vision as a charity and an organisation in terms of developing and inspiring the young people is a perfect match for, for us within the city airport. But rather than listen to me, I thought I would just give you two minutes um, of an insight into um, the graduation of the, the last programme. So it's an exciting day because we have the opportunity to bring the young people together. Um, it's been a difficult year for everyone, but particularly for young people. Um, so we've had to run a lot of our courses and our programmes online, um, but the commitment from the young people has really been phenomenal throughout the programme. I think this is a really fabulous project and Cinemagic is really honoured to be involved. And the most amazing thing has been watching the young people grow in confidence, watching them just really embrace every opportunity that the project has given them and to really just step outside of their comfort zone. It's unbelievable because, you know, I've come such a long way and a short period of time. I have went on to study screen production at Ulster University because, you know, I've been making my own films, I've been making my own documentary. Apart from film, I've also been keeping up my photography skills and the work that I've done and the work that all the other people have done has actually gone up on display in the NI Museums next year. I've also written a blog on Channel 4. It talks about mental health and physical health and, you know, all the actions you can take to improve that. It was great being able to uh, meet so many new people and uh, I felt that really helped me with my confidence. So they've developed a lot of skills, but most of all, you just see that transformation in their confidence and their self-belief, which is really the whole essence behind the programme. I feel great about having completed the Ignite programme because I felt like it has made such a big impact on my life and how I go about communicating with people and how I personally just developed all of my leadership skills, all of my communication skills and also just I've made such good friends. Yeah, 100%. It was, it was great. And I'm, I'm sorry it's over. 
So just just in terms of of just um, finishing up, um, again in terms of of impact, um, there are a number of benefits of of the, the work that we do out within our local community. And I know certainly for the likes of Lisa and Helen, even just picking up that accolade of Northern Ireland Responsible Company of the Year meant so much to us as, as an organisation. But it is important that we continue to work with business in the community, with other great businesses um, that we'll hear from today in terms of how we move and continue to work collaboratively and move forward. And then just a final slide in terms of success factors. So very, very quickly, um, meaningful engagement is absolutely key. You can't change anything or have an impact if you're not listening and engaging with your local community. Having a strategic approach, treat this activity in your community engagement like any other business objective. Have the objective, have the right team to deliver it and measure your success. Celebrate, shout about your achievements. You know, we create a great sense of pride within our organisation. And it is important that you celebrate the success and the milestones that you reach. Evaluate, measure and challenge. What impact is your community engagement programme having within your business? Could you be doing more if you tweaked it in some way? And then back to that magic word, collaborate. It, to me, it really is the key to achieving the impact. I've seen firsthand through partnerships with Cinemagic and other businesses, this collaboration is powerful. And hopefully from today's session, we can see further partnerships develop through the great work with business and the community.